Right now, we continue with Saving the Beaches, a series of storms last winter caused heavy damage along the Rhode Island coast, especially in Charlestown. 12 News meteorologist TJ Del Santo shows us the incredible damage and what's being done to save our beaches. TJ? Charlestown has seen some of their beaches erode at an accelerated pace in the last decade. Last winter's losses, however, were devastating. wall here has been destroyed. The Charlestown breachway has been breached. This was the breachway in 2021 from Sky Drone 12. This is it now. Well, we had a lot of erosion this winter. Tina Spears is a state representative for this area. It has continued to deteriorate in this winter. We really saw um, the wall get breached and continue to, to erode this area. The breachway was made so that water continuously flows into Charlestown Pond to keep water clean for aquaculture, to allow vessels to navigate through more easily and for recreation. This entire strip of sand from the breachway and along the Charlestown coast had significant damage this past winter. Storm surges and heavy waves eroded the beach and destroyed many dunes. We definitely are seeing erosion rates increase over, over the past 20 years or so. Uh, Steve McCandless works in the Charlestown GIS department. Went to URI. I actually have been studying this coastline uh, for the past 25 years or so. He said the erosion is becoming more evident to us now that the beaches are smaller and the water is getting closer to a lot of the houses and structures. But it is also being scientifically measured with older aerial photos and drones. The erosion rates from 39 up until 2014 was right around three feet per year. Since then we've, we increased to about seven feet per year and two years ago we lost about 49 feet and then this past winter through the summer we, we lost 135 feet I think is what it, what it is. Uh, I come here pretty much daily and I've been watching this just consistently deteriorate. So we were, the hope was that, that we would see some recovery, uh, but we haven't seen that. We've just seen continued erosion. Erosion is natural as the waves pound the shore, but this erosion is accelerating. What we can see is by doing nothing, it actually is destroying the habitat. So we have to protect it. Coming up at 6, we'll tell you more about the studies being done on the shore and what's being done to fix and shore up the Charlestown shoreline. I'm TJ Del Santo, 12 News.